So yeah, um, yeah, but say before we go on, do you want to make that jugar thing? I because I don't remember it. Okay, if um, like if a statement is wrong or something like like if if one is wrong, so what happens? So it's C. So it's C. Or if two is wrong, uh, D. So and I think that was the only thing you could generalize, right? Hmm. Okay. So. Nitrogen and phosphorus are both in group 15 of the periodic table. Phosphorus forms the chloride with formula PCl5. But nitrogen does not form NCl5. Basically because of expansion. Uh, Octet expansion. expansion basically. And it can only happen in period 3, not period 2. So that's why it's many other. So which mm-hmm. statements help to explain this? Nitrogen's outer shell cannot contain more than 8 electrons. I think that helps to explain it. It cannot expand, right? Um, yeah. Uh, while in phosphorus, outer shell may D or D orbitals be um, Nitrogen mm. cannot have an oxidation state of plus five. It's wrong because it can have an oxidation state of plus five. Like, um, like what do you think happens in like you know nitric acid? Like HNO3 may here. Yeah, minus six, yeah, plus one, plus five, you know. So it can have an oxidation state of plus five. So only well, if two is wrong, so which means it's D, which is only one correct in this case. I like this. You don't even have to read the third, the third one. Like, mm. um, when a sample of gas is compressed at a constant temperature, from this to this, its volume changes from this to this. Um, which statements are possible explanations for this result? I mean, it's been here, Dana. like you know how P V is e- P one V one is equals to P two V two. Okay, but we don't. Um, and if we calculate this, so if we take, uh, let's say P1 to be 1500, uh, kilo go to chhod do, dono side pe cancel ho jayega, and you multiply it by 76, because I'm not converting, because dono side pe cancel ho jayega, and you divide it by 6000, so the volume should actually be 19. If the volume is not 19, then the gas, is, I don't think it's behaving ideally. Um, hmm. So like no, it maybe that could be a possible explanation. The gas partially liquefies. Uh, if, if On it's, increasing pressure, volume come ho jata hai. Maybe, volume, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we're, we're, we're actually expecting a volume of 19. Instead, we're getting a volume of 20.5. Uh-huh. We're getting a liquefied volume. Exactly. When all come hota, volume. Exactly. So too wrong, it should be D. And like generally, even if you look at the third one, some of the gas is lost in the container. Um, so volume bar- bar- kaise? Kam, kam, kam ho jayega, right? But we're uh-huh. expecting 19 and uh, uh, we should have gotten 19. Instead, we've got an incre- higher value of 20.5. So it yeah. would be one. Um, so in fact, we were 31D and 32D. Okay. So which of these statements are always correct? Okay. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the atoms in a compound is zero. Um, if that, unless that compound is like, you know, I, uh, does that, does, do you think that matters? Like, are, are we overthinking this? Okay, but compound, if it happens, then generally, when you talk of a compound, it's generally yeah. a charge. I mean, you don't talk about an, like a, uh, an, uh, an I. A and charged right? compound, yeah, a charged yeah. compound. Yeah, so so this is should be correct. Mm. Okay, the oxidation number of sodium in a salt is always positive. I think that's right. Group one metals mm. ka negative to nahi hota, huh? mm. The oxidation number of chlorine in a compound is not always negative because chlorine can be, you know, we just we just saw this in this paper. Um plus three, plus five we also said, so that's fine. So one and two right should be um ikyata B. So 32, 33B, sorry, and 34, sulfur dioxide and oxygen react in the gas phase, which statements are correct, increasing the pressure, increases the equilibrium yield of SO3. So you'll have to look at the number of gaseous moles, which are three here and two here. If you increase the pressure, it will move towards the one with less moles. So yes, it does increase gaseous yield, uh, the in- yield of SO3. Increasing the temperature lowers the va- value of the equilibrium constant Kp. 
Uh, so KP is basically you know product over um, reactants. So if mm -hmm. it says lowers the value, it means that the equilibrium is, uh, if I write this with blue, moving towards the left. Because if it moves towards the left, product ki value come hoge, is ki value zada hoge, and hence the overall value has gone down. So that's mm -hmm. what it's what should happen. Um, increasing the temperature, yeah. The way I used to learn learn it was Hendlex. If it's high, uh, literally like, if it's high temperature. So and it favors the endothermic side. If it's low temperature, it favors the exothermic side. Um, if the forward reaction, because it's negative, is and is exothermic, so which means the backward reaction should be endothermic. Correct. Mm. So, yeah, so if you're increasing temperature, it should favor the endothermic side, which would make it move move. Uh, so make it move back. So the statement is also correct because that's what we wanted to happen. If it moves back, then product key value come okay, reacting value but okay, overall K K KP come okay. Um mm. are we good? The presence of a vanadium five oxide catalyst increases the equilibrium yield of SO2. No, no. It just uh, uh, equilibrium it position with the change. It causes the equilibrium to be reached quicker, but the yeah. equilibrium itself does not change. Exactly. So this is B. Yep. One and two, right? B is there, no? Hmm. So three test tubes X, Y, and Z each contain a small amount of water. A small amount of NaCl is added to test tube X. A small amount of SiCl4 is added to test tube I. So on with AlCl3. After a short time, and these are all contain a small amount of water. So yeah, two drops hmm. of universal indicator solution are added to each test tube. So what observations are made? So test tube X major here, the indicator arrow stays green. Like it should be, this should be neutral, right? And these yeah. two should be acidic. So mm -hmm. yes, and they do both turn red, which I'm assuming is acidic. So this should be A, which is all three correct. Mm -hmm. So 35A, 36, sodium chloride and sodium iodide react with concentrated sulfuric acid, basically oxidizing the reaction with her. Uh, it's as, as a strong oxidizing agent, I believe. Which statement? No, this was a confusing bit. This uh, is a. Hmm. Which statements are correct? Sodium chloride is not oxidized by concentrated sulfuric acid. I think this was correct. Because the oxidizing power, uh, ability of halogens decreases down the group, I believe. Because ox oxida oxidation, kya hai? it's. Um, um, the ability to accept electrons, take away electrons. So down the group halogens, they lose their oxidi oxidation power. Yeah, because if you're a good oxidizing agent, you will get reduced yourself, right? Yeah. So you'll accept electrons. And upper to, uh, as down the group, shells increase the and all of that. So it, in fact, it becomes difficult to... Sorry, I think we misquoted here. Oxidizing uh, ability, we're talking about them being good oxidizing agents. So, wo oxidize ke denge or could reduce. Ho hmm. Haan, so, reduce hona for them would be to accept an electron, and it's more difficult for them to accept an electron down the group since shells, ge, nuclear force of attraction come. So, yeah, so like uh, uh, sodium uh, NaCl, wala, it was it used to be equal oxida oxidizing power, so it's not oxidized. Uh, hmm. However, uh, I don't know about the color change, and but sodium uh, uh, iodide is oxidized by concent concentrated sulfuric acid. That's for sure, right? Because bro, so uh, NaBr and NaI to go jata hai. NaCl nahi hota, kuch same hota hai, but as NaBr, Br ki oxidizing power, power is less, so concentrated sulfuric acid uh, can oxidize NaBr and NaI. Um, yes. So color change ka well, if one and three are correct, I don't even think you have an option where it's just. One and three, huh? so it has to be A. So I guess your color change be nahi observe, observe hota I can't even remember any. So nahi hota hota. Mm, nahi hota. Yeah. Which compound can be obtained from but2ene in a single reaction? So you have ye, 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 and ye. Okay, so this can be obtained through uh, cold dilute KMnO4 diol formation. OH OH mm. like this can be obtained if you add, um, this is hydration. So like, ek jaga, ek jaga aapka H laga, 
एंड एक जगह ओवर्स लगा इट्स आल्सो सिंगल रिएक्शन रिलेशनल स्टीम या um this can happen if you add concentrated uh like hot concentrated kmno4 so this will break and it will result in it becoming an acid ethanoic acid which can completely happen so i guess this is a yeah but uh, i remember one of my students got this wrong because what they thought was ke pehle initially jab aapka bond tootta hai the first it gets converted into an aldehyde and then it converts into a carboxylic acid but they were wrong on this one so it essentially gets converted into carb- carboxylic acid in one single step yeah so, i mean the the only place where you could say stuff like that is where you're talking about a, a primary alcohol if you oxidize that a thora sa to that goes to an aldehyde and if you oxidize that a lot then that goes to a carboxylic either to aldehyde to kahi bhi nahi banta matlab to like it's it's not even intermediary or anything like that yeah so 37 a and oh they give the, they gave the table again okay so which mm-hmm. statements help explain the mechanism of the reaction between one chloropropane and ammonia where one chloropropane is basically isme aapne cl dal diya and i think either yahi hota hai ye reaction ke if you add concentrated ammonia or alcoholic ammonia this just basically substitutes into nh2 hmm and ye cl nikalta hai and ye plus hcl bana leta hai hmm and it's an sn2 reaction because cl is a nucleophile uh, nh3 is a nucleophile but lone pair hai say okay, so one chloropropane has a slightly negative chlorine atom that forms hydrogen bonds with no. a slightly positive hydrogen atom in ammonia nahi no. uh, hydrogen bonds nahi banata na chlorine oh yeah west bound to wala just just on that you can just say it's wrong but yeah and yeah. even then i, I that, that doesn't really it doesn't hold true for the mechanism like mechanism mein kya nucleophilic substitution it's a sn2 reaction so wo aayega the nucleophile will come and uh, attack uh, this carbon intermediary step hoga and then this will go and the nucleophile will take its place so even agar dipole dipole dikha to phir bhi it wouldn't make sense um yeah. but if one is wrong then i believe b is the correct answer anyways right yeah no sorry c is the correct no, answer no, no, no. Uh, okay so if one is wrong no, then c is uh, the correct answer but anyways if you go through it uh this is a polar compound with the slightly positive carbon that is true because this is slightly positive because this is slightly negative and that is how the nucleophile gets attracted to the carbon there is a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom that also helps explain because that allows it to act as a nucleophile so that that is fine um, 38 c 39 which compounds react with alkaline a- aqueous iodine say so, yeah, so you have alkaline aqueous iodine to give a pale yellow precipitate of triiodomethane so if you remember triiodomethane jo tha c h c i this is iodoform uh, the the chemi- the marking name mm. for this is iodoform so mm. they basically talking about the iodoform reaction uh, iodoform which used to o- happen only in methyl ketones and methyl other stuff hmm say so, yeah, so butanone may i'm not even sure it's not a methyl ketone because butanone is um नहीं नहीं बट ब्यूटेनोन में इट डिपेंड्स वेयर इट इज इट अटैच इफ इट अटैचेस हियर देन हैव ब्यूटेनोन में जदे भी हां मित्र मिथाइल हो सकता है सो ब्यूटेनोन में इट कैन रिएक्ट इथेनल इफ यू लुक एट इट सो दिस इज द एसए इथेनल एंड आई गेस यू कैन आल्सो से दैट से इट विल रिएक्ट विद दिस um a lot of people just make the mistake they just look at the ketone but again if it's methyl something it will react that's iodoform class so this is in the, there's a methyl group attached propen to all mam dekh lo so propen to all mein you have c you have c you have c you have oh um now would would this classify as a methyl group you probably would yeah cuz methyl group is there so we'd say a for this Let's just put a star here because you know, hopefully we're right. Or we should be right, but like in just in case, Thora says me. Um, we can always check. Yeah, exactly. 
So propanoic acid occurs naturally as a result of the bacterial fermentation of milk and is partly responsible for the flavor of Swiss cheese, which starting materials can be used to produce propanoic acid. So how do we produce this? Um, so basically, as again, propanoic acid is three. So yes, this can be used to produce. Um, hmm. Isko aapne bas, uh, hot concentrated came in for Dalia, it became a carboxylic. You're good. Uh, this is basically the aldehyde. Matlab, again, it's maybe I'm the hot concentrated cake. Uh, uh, wo dal diya, sorry. Um, KMNO4 uh, and I'm the reflux. Kar diya, so, ye bhi ho and this yeah. again, this is uh, acidic hydrolysis. If you if you put concentrated HCl, this should also, this should also produce matlab, uh, ye carbon aapka phir, um, acid. Bana hai. So, this should also be correct. Yeah. Answer is A. We have a lot of A's in this one. Cash <laughs> grade sheet will be essay. Stars, inshallah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, did we start with 31? So, 31D, 32D, 33B, 34B, 35A, 36A, 37A, 38C, 39A, 40A. So, that's good. Um, uh, so like, yeah, we, we will write about this, how this is a methyl group. Uh, so hmm. the last 10 questions. So basically we just got one wrong in the paper. Wo bhi ki, ki that was because of, uh, uh, exactly. exactly. So, um, <laughs> it was a very, very dumb mistake. So that was 21, but that's good for this. Um, that's it.